There are different ways of diagnosing seizures. Let's show our viewers what those are, doctor. Would you do all of those? Really, for the diagnosis of, of a seizure disorder, the, the definitive diagnosis lies in an electroencephalogram. Uh, even with an electroencephalogram, uh, with video uh, to capture an episode and to provide the patient and provide uh, the medical uh, practitioners involved with uh, an electroclinical correlation um, that this is a, a behavior or a uh, abnormal uh, thing that we observe and this is the aberrant electrical activity in the brain and that there lies the definitive diagnosis. Um, the, the other tests mentioned, the neurological exam, the blood test, the imaging test, and the spinal tap, these are adjunctive tests to support your diagnosis and in many cases a neurological exam could indicate um, cognitive impairment, uh, poor attention, uh, even after you've had a seizure, you can have residual weakness in the arm affected, uh, which is called Todd's paralysis, sometimes looking like a stroke. Uh, blood tests uh, um, in the acute setting, um, you can have an acidosis or a, uh, a prolactin elevation or certain types of blood tests that help us What's along the way. What's a prolactin elevation, I'm sorry? Uh, is a certain uh, uh, hormone that our brain produces that can sometimes be elevated after a seizure. Mm -hmm. Not a, again, just a, an adjunctive kind okay. of test. Uh, imaging tests, uh, we have MRI, which could indicate a lesion in the brain, a tumor, a stroke that could be causing the seizure. There's also more sophisticated imaging tests in that we uh, measure the activity in, a, in the brain, in certain parts of the brain, in, in, using SPECT uh, analysis, um, where we can look at the metabolism within certain parts of the brain and extrapolate and say, oh, well, that brain, part of the brain is not metabolizing uh, well and may have a, a seizure focus uh, there. So uh, spinal tap was mentioned. Uh, it is a good idea to perform a spinal tap in a new onset seizure that comes out of nowhere. We don't know what caused it. We want to rule out an infection because uh, that is a treatable uh, cause of epilepsy.